some humans just feel this drive to go over the next hill, see what's on the other side. It's just an innate desire. It's not totally rational, but it's something that I find very exciting. I'm not a scientist, but I love supporting scientists in making tools a little bit better, a little bit more capable, so that they can do that exploration and then share it with all of us. The Woods Hole Oceanographic is one of the largest research institutions dedicated to oceanography in the world. There are people studying all aspects of the ocean, science, engineering, policy. The ocean and the atmosphere are the biggest systems on our planet. It affects our global climate, it affects the global ecosystem. It's well over two-thirds of the surface area of the Earth, you know, on average four kilometers deep, some parts much deeper, you know, to 11 kilometers. It's also hard to access in a lot of ways. So I'm Jim Partan, I'm a research engineer here at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and I work on underwater acoustics. We're trying to enable more exploration by trying to use robotic exploration for deep exploration or distant exploration where, where it would be extremely expensive to send a ship. Because radio waves don't propagate underwater, we need to use underwater acoustic sound waves to do the, the signal processing, the mathematical analysis on these robotic vehicles to figure out where they are and to communicate commands and status. This is the version 2 of the micromodem, our underwater acoustic modem. Our devices allow underwater acoustic navigation and communication. This is critical for these uh, free-swimming autonomous underwater robots because they don't have a tether back to send data. The pressures underwater are one atmosphere for every 10 meters. So if you are down one kilometer, you have 100 atmospheres of pressure. This, this is 100 atmospheres of pressure. This is a failed weld. There was an outside contractor who did it uh, a little too fast and didn't do a good job. This failed at 100 atmospheres, one kilometer deep, and the ocean goes to 11 kilometers. Most underwater sensors are kind of long and narrow because the diameter of the pressure housing is one of the things that drives cost. And also to you know, fit them into a small robotic vehicle, you know, small is always good. And so you know, our boards are generally narrow and, and not super long, but a little bit long. We really needed the skills of great layout designers to make the board as dense as possible. We call ourselves an electrical engineering company with a focus on PCB design. We just enjoy solving puzzles and trying to use our skills to solve problems. Our entire organization is structured around PCB design. We have yet to encounter a board that we, we felt we couldn't design. I just wanted to talk to you about uh, Altium 365 and see if this would be a good fit. New Grange Design has been working with Woods Hole for about 15 years or so. And I'm guessing that right when you drop 50 or 100 new parts is exactly when you need to be designing the board. And so yep. you really shouldn't be spending a lot of time managing the library right then. The first board I think we did with them was with this board called the Micromodem 2. This is the Micromodem board. This is a 16 layer board. Blind and buried V is super complex, very dense parts on both sides. I've known about Woods Hole since I was a kid. I was interested in oceanography. I considered it as a major in college. I think part of growing up in Massachusetts and New England, there's a closeness to the ocean that is 
part of our community and part of a lot of people's stories. It's very meaningful to me to be contributing to the health of and the protection of the wildlife in the ocean. I think that matters not only to me, but the entire team here at New Branch. Something that we've talked quite a bit about, if you go back up here, is the component management. The next time somebody creates a part, it's, it's your burden goes down dramatically. Mm -hmm. Even within our immediate group, we don't all use the same library method. Okay. So, <laughs> so that would be yeah. a gain. The ocean is surprisingly not that well understood. A lot of wildlife live in the ocean. I think a majority of wildlife lives in the ocean. There's a good reason to explore it, understand it, and try to maintain the health of the ocean for our benefit and for the benefit of all life on Earth. In terms of the fraction of the ocean that's not been explored, the, there's the sea surface, there's the water column, and there's the sea floor. The sea surface is something that we can image from satellites. The sea floor is something that we can estimate how deep it is from sonars on ships. And then there's this whole water column, which is largely unexplored. And uh, Woods Hole Ocean Graphic is making new robots to explore that water column area. Although I love human exploration, I love going to some of these places, but it's expensive. And there are certain things that humans need to do and there are certain things that robots can do. It's something bigger than myself. It's, there's, there's a team, there's uh, scientists that we're supporting, there's um, this, this goal of understanding our planet, our oceans better. And so it's something bigger than myself, and it is also fascinating, and I love it. Thank you for watching Altium Stories. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. By subscribing and hitting the bell icon, you'll never miss out on the latest engineering stories from our channel. We would love to hear your thoughts, so please comment and let us know your favorite engineering story. Thank you for supporting us and helping us continue to share the impactful work being done by engineers around the world.